Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'll be showing you how to install GSX Level 2 Jetways. Today I'll be showing you how to do it on the Taxi to Gate Hong Kong. There are loads of other airports that have this feature. You can find it on the FS Dream Team share page. I can't remember what it's called again. There's a link in the description and there's also another link in the description for this someone who's just done a massive project to done GSX Level 2 Jetways for loads and loads of airports, so I'll link that below. Um, so you can get loads of GSX Level 2 jetways at your airport of choice. As in the title, it is only for GSX Level 2. So you must own GSX Base Package and GSX Level 2. That will cost you like $60 in total, I believe, somewhere around there. Um, and today I'll be showing you how to do it with the Taxi to Gate scenery um, for Hong Kong. So you get this file. Uh, this is a file that tells GSX where to place jetways in the scenery. And this, these two combined... Uh, would tell GSX, upon loading the scenery, disable this control J jetways or so jetways or whatever you want to replace. These normally come with the scenery packages that you might download from an FS Dream Team forum, um, but this just disables the original jetways. There are some airports that have static jetways, which this cannot do. So, what you'd normally do, you just go to your scenery, and normally there's just a jetway file. Um, make sure it may not be called jetway it could just be jet um, if it doesn't come up what you could just try is do five asterisks like so afterwards and that will just get jetways no matter what and there you go five asterisks jet this is a lib jetway so this is these lib these are control j jetways these are animated ob obj is an object static jetways these are the ones we want to get rid of so what you just do is rename it, change the BGL to off, don't worry about deleting it because then you won't have the file anymore. To turn it to off, P3D will not recognize it, will not load static jetways. So that's how you do that one. Um, this is my scenery folder for taxi to gate. That's what you have to do there. So close that down. Next we'll install the actual GSX level 2 file, it tells it where to replace the jetways and what type of jetways and what they have on the jetway and whatever. And that'll be in your roaming folder, app data, roaming, uh, which you can just do a run, type in run on the windows, app data, percent app data percent, load that up, and it comes to here. Get out to the bottom, go to whatever, however you say that, virtually, I don't know, and go to GSX, and boom. Because they've got quite a few airports that got this, you can see JFK, it's quite a big one, lots of so jetways there. Uh, for my first dream team, GSS level 2 jetways and you just plonk that in there like so and that is that done. Last step, pretty simple you go off to your local disk or wherever um, GSX is installed you just go to your add-on manager FS dream team and then there will be an exclude folder pretty much wherever you've installed GSX go to add-on manager FS dream team exclude you come to here and like, as, like always, you just plonk it in there and boom, click refresh, you're going to line up. And that's it. Now you've got GSX Level 2 Jetways. Disabled the original ones with that file we just installed there. You've disabled the static ones by disabling the BGL. Um, if you don't have, if someone hasn't supplied you with the normal control J Jetway exclusion file, um, when we did type in the Jetway to disable static ones. You did see there was control J jetways, so you can disable it there as well. There's another way of doing it. And the other file we've installed to actually get the jetways to work. That's really simple, that's it. That's our five minutes done of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, enjoy your sode. Or no, GSX level two jetways, bye bye.